Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Hi, how are you? Very, very good, teacher. Okay. Are you sleepy tonight? A little bit? I am. Yes, you say yeah. I am. Yeah, me yes, too. Yes, teacher. I am sleepy right. and a little tired, but we have a job to do. Okay, so we need to do this. Everybody, welcome. I'm going to uh, share the screen with you. And also, um, we're going to um, just give me a moment, please, as I get everything ready. Just a second. Oops, where's the presentation? Um, right here. Okay, great. Okay, just give me give me a moment. Just a second. Okay, here we go. Now I'm sharing the screen with you. And I'm taking the attendance. So, when you hear your name, please let me know. Okay, Braulio Heriberto Velasquez Mejia. I hear the chair. Thank you. Velasquez. Eh, Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Present the teacher. Thank you very much. Cesar Alejandro Aparicio Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tovar. Present teacher. Thank you. Doribel Arely Arriaza Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Eli Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Present. Thank you. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Orellana. Herbert Adán Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you. Isabel Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño López. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Hercules. Jaime Adonai. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Thank you. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. René Giovanni Martinez Aguilar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ruth Marielo Samaya de Guardado. Here, teacher. Thank you. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. I am ready, teacher. Thank you. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wendy Lisette Carías de Cedillos. Present, teacher. Thank you. I'm calling a few of you again. 
Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Okay, let's begin. Iche. Yes. Dice Jaime Adonai que no se va a poder conectar porque por lo mismo de, de ayer, del accidente, todavía no tiene internet. Ay, qué mal. Bueno. Bueno, pero lo vamos a esperar. Tal vez suceda un milagro <laughs> y se conecta. Ok, pero gracias por avisarme. Thank you very much. Ok, um, here we go, everybody. This is Inglés Pre Intermedio Módulo 3, and this is me, Iván Doñán, at your service. Once again, this is session 15, and today is June the 15th, 2023. Remember, tomorrow we have a class. Ok, mañana, viernes, tenemos clase. Puesto que, ¿qué día fue? El lunes, el lunes fue. Uh -huh. eh, no se pudo porque desafortunadamente perdí toda señal de internet, así que. O fue martes, no recuerdo, pero fue un día de estos. Cuestión es que no eh, tenemos una clase el día de mañana, así que esta sería la penúltima. Mañana terminaríamos el nivel formalmente, ¿verdad? Desde ya me disculpo con ustedes por ese inconveniente, pero bueno, no fue culpa mía en realidad. Fueron circunstancias más allá de mi control. So, uh, let's begin. Going to, let's have a review. I am going to watch TV this evening. Okay. She says that, she said that this morning. So, she has a plan. She's going to watch TV this evening. We also use am, is, and are going to for the future. We have studied that we can use the present continuous for the future, but also we can use be going to for the future. Take a look. You use, you say, I am, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, they are, going to, and then the verb. If it's negative, you have to use the negative form of the verb be. You say, I am not going to, he is not going to, she is not going to, it is not going to, we are not going to, you are not going to, they are not going to, and then the verb. If you want to ask a question, it's very easy. Just the subject and the verb be change places. And then you say, am I going to do? Is he going to drink? Are we going to watch? Are you going to work, etc. Okay. So when do we use going to? When you say, I am going to do something means I have decided to do it. My intention is to do it, okay? I have decided to do it. My intention is to do it. This is not an arrangement, okay? These are intentions. These are plans. For example, I am going to buy some books tomorrow. This is an intention that a person has, but it's not a definite plan. This is not an arrangement, okay? Just a second. Right here. Just a moment, please. All right. So Sandra is going to sell her car. So what's this? Is this an arrangement? No, it's not an arrangement. This is an intention that she has. It's a plan. I am not going to have breakfast this morning. I am not hungry, this kid says. That means this kid has no intention of having breakfast this morning because he's not hungry. Then what are you going to wear to the wedding next week? What do you plan to wear? What is your intention? Your hands are dirty. Yes, I know. I'm going to wash them. I have the intention of washing my hands. And are you going to invite Max, Max to your party? It's like, do you have the intention of inviting Max to your party? This is how you use going to. Remember, you use it for intentions and plans something that you decide to do. Now look, we also use the present continuous as we have studied before, like I am doing for the future, usually for arrangements. Now, what is an arrangement? As we have explained before, an arrangement is a plan that you have a very specific plan with a specific person with a in a specific place at a specific time in a specific activity. That's an arrangement. For example, when you say, I'm playing tennis with Julia tomorrow, 
no es que tengo ganas de jugar tenis con Julia. No, ya quedé con Julia para jugar tenis. Ya hablamos, ya dijimos a qué hora, ya dijimos en qué cancha, etcétera, etcétera. Okay, that's an arrangement. That's a different thing. So I am playing tennis with Julia tomorrow. And then we have this, going to, something is going to happen. You can use going to to express a prediction when the prediction is based on clear evidence, okay? So when you say something is going to happen, that means we can see now that it is sure to happen, okay? For example, look at the sky. It's going to rain. How do you know? Because you can see the black clouds. Black clouds now mean rain later. So you're making a prediction based on solid evidence. You say, oh no, it's nine and I'm not ready. I'm going to be late. Why am I going to be late? Because it's nine now and I'm not ready. Definitely, I'm going to be late. So you see this guy, he's saying it's going to rain. Now we completed this exercise yesterday. What are these people saying? The first one says, I'm going to watch TV. The second one, I'm going to take a bath. The third one, I'm going to buy a car or a new car and we are going to play soccer. What about this one? Remind me again, did we complete this exercise? Creo que nos quedó a la mitad este ejercicio. Or did we complete it? Okay, so here's the thing, okay? Complete the sentences, you have to use going to plus these verbs. And the verbs are do, eat, give, lie down, which means acostarse, okay? Lie down, stay, walk, wash, watch, sorry, watch, sorry, watch, that's the correct pronunciation, and wear. What about number one? My hands are dirty. I need a volunteer. Rebeca Abigail and then Marina Esmeralda. Um, one. Yes. Okay. My hands are dirty. I am going to wash them. I am going to wash them. Correct. Okay. My hands are dirty. I am going to wash them. Thank you, Rebeca. Very good. Now we continue with Marina Esmeralda, then Luis Fernando, and then Saul Alexander. So Marina Esmeralda, number two, please. I can't hear you. Seems you have some problems with the microphone. Parece activado su micrófono. Ya lo desactivo, pero parecía activado, pero no le oía nada. Y ahora, sí, ahora sí. Yes, okay. Number two. What do you wear to the party tonight? Mm, remember, you have what to. What do use... you do? No. No, no, sorry. It's, uh, remember, it's the be going to and the verb. So, what? Uh, what do you wearing? Mm, we cannot use the, the auxiliary do because this is not present simple. It's a bit different. Remember, you need to use the verb be, which is am, is, or are, and then going to, and then the verb. Entonces, no ocuparía ninguno de, solo ocuparía uno de los de la casilla. Así es, solo uno, que es el verbo principal. Sería what are uh -huh. you what wearing? Are, what are you wearing sería present continuous. Aquí hay que utilizar going to. What, what are you? Are you... What are you doing where? No, 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 sé. no sorry. Uh, thank you for your participation, Marina. Let's see uh, what Luis Fernando has to say. Okay. Uh, what? We can use only one, right? The... Only one verb, yes. Okay. Uh, okay, what are you... Well, what 
are you doing to the party tonight? Mm -mm. Pero no es present continuous, es going to. Es decir, tenemos que ocupar going to y luego el verbo en forma base. Ah, ok. Ajá. Ah, ok, ok, I, I understand. Ok. What, what are you going to What are you going to? To wear the party tonight. What are you going to wear to the party tonight? ¿Qué te vas a poner para la fiesta? Okay. What are you going to wear to the party tonight? Okay, good. Thank you, Luis Fernando. Saul Alexander, number three. It's a nice day. I don't want to take the bus. It's a nice day. I don't want to take the bus. I I am going to walk. I am going to walk. That is I'm going to walk. I'm no, going I'm going walk. I'm going to walk. Okay. I'm going to walk. Yes, I am going to walk. Very good. Thank you. Isabel Elizabeth, number four. Ryan is going to San Diego next week. He is going to stay with some friends. He is going to stay with some friends. That is correct. Thank you very much. Number five, Wendy Lisette. I am I'm hungry. Me too. <laughs> I, am, I am going to eat the sandwich. I'm going to eat the sandwich. Okay, good. Thank you. Braulio Heriberto, number six. It's, uh, it's Megan birthday next week. Um, we, we are we are going to um, give her a present. We are going to give her a present. That is correct. Thank you, Braulio. Marina Esmeralda, number seven. A ver si esta me sale. Okay. Susan say she's feeling tired. She's going to she's going to live down for an hour. She's going to lie down for an hour. Okay, good. Very good. Susan says she's feeling very tired. She's going to lie down for an hour. Se va a costar una hora. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, Wendy, did you want to participate? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, Wendy and then Luz Clara. Okay, uh, Wendy, number eight. The president's speech is on TV tonight. Are you a state? I, are you going to stay? Um, a speech on TV? Oh, no. Uh -huh. uh, um, are you going to... Um, speech means discourse. Speech. Ah, discourse. Uh -huh. so the president's speech is on TV tonight. Uh -huh. um, are you going to watch it? Are you going to watch it? Okay, the president's speech is on TV tonight. Are you going to watch it? Okay. Mm -hmm. El discurso del presidente, o habrá un discurso del presidente en la, tele, en la TV esta noche. Uh, any, any resemblance to reality is purely coincidental. <laughs> okay. Okay, so then you have number nine. Okay, uh, Luz Clara. Watch. Perdón. What is Rachel going to do when she finishes school? Correct. What is Rachel going to do when she finishes school? So uh, thank you, Wendy, and thank you, Luz Clara. Okay, there you go. Those are uh, the answers to this exercise. Very good. Let's see. Did I share all this information with you yesterday? Let me see. Yeah, I sent it to you. 
Let's see. Not this teacher. This, this, ah, but this. this is an exercise. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit different. Pero si quieren hacer los pasos. Normalmente no paso ejercicio, solo información, pero lo voy a pasar. Ahí está. Uy, ¿qué, qué pasó? Okay. So, uh, next. Now, look at this. Your turn. Look at the pictures. What is going to happen? Now, we're not talking about intentions. We're not talking about plans. We're talking about predictions. Remember that you can use going to to make a prediction when you can see that something is sure to happen, when you have evidence about this prediction. So, what do we have right here? Number one, what's the sentence? ¿Qué va a pasar ahí? Saúl Alexander. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. That's correct. It is going to rain. Very good. Number two, Marina. Vamos a comenzar con esto. Look, uh, the shelf. Okay. Uh -huh. The shelf. The shelf is going to fall down. The, sh the shelf is going to? Fell. No. Fell, fell is the fell past. Down. Fell is the past form of the verb. Fall down. Fall uh -huh. down. The shelf oh is going to fall or simplemente to fall. Okay. The shelf is going to fall. Very good. Okay, nice. Thank you, Marina. What about number three? Number three, Wendy. The car around the, is going around the corner. Okay. Right. Pero y el verbo, the, the car is going to? Uh -huh, it's going to uh, around the corner. Around the corner is not a verb. Sorry. Uh -huh. You need to use a verb. Digámoslo en español. ¿Qué va a hacer el carro ahorita? Por va a cruzar. Pueden... Va a cruzar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿En qué dirección? A la derecha. A la derecha. Ahí tiene la direccional puesta. Entonces, the car is going to? Around. around around is not a verb sorry okay let's see what uh okay okay let's 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 see what luz clara has to say cross cross this car is going to cross to the right mm, no well cross is a verb but it's not the correct verb but thank you for your participation let's hear what saul has to say the car is going to turn right. The car is going to turn right. Okay, turn means cruzar o doblar. Okay, that's a turn. You can turn left, you can turn right. Yeah. Okay, se puede cruzar a la izquierda, cruzar a la derecha. Okay, o doblar a la izquierda, doblar a la derecha. It says turn. The car is going to turn right. Okay, good. And number four, Marina. The boy is going to kick the ball. Or he, He's going to kick the boy. Como lo dijo, está perfecto también. Uh, the boy is going to kick the ball or he the... is going to kick the ball. Okay, good. Very nice. Very good. Great. Now we're going to do this uh, exercise here. Complete the invitations in column A with the present continuous as the future. Complete the responses in B with be going to. Just one thing here. If you give me a moment, very quick moment. This is the, uh, just give me a second. This is the knowledge check, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check.
Yes, this is the this is a knowledge check. Just let me correct some information right here. This one. Okay, that's knowledge check five point four. Give me a second. So complete the information, the invitations in column A with the present continuous used as future. This is the first one. You have to use present continuous only. And then complete the responses in B with B going to. Just a moment again, because I, I, I'm afraid I made a mistake with uh, the order of animations. I'm going to correct it here very quickly. But disculpas, okay. This should be number eight, five, six. No, this should be number seven. Number seven, eight. This should be number nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, here we go. Okay, so uh, we have a chat entry here. Okay, pero acá tenemos una sugerencia. Okay, vamos a hacer un jueguito, pero mañana quizás porque hay que planearlo bien. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So um, number, oh, well, the first one, you're going to do it like this. First, number one here, present continuous, and then B, be going to. So what about the first one? Who can help me? Wendy, and then Braulio. Okay, Wendy, you go with A, and Braulio, you go with B here. What are you going to do tonight? Would you like to go out? Be careful. Look, you have to complete the invitations in column A with the present continuous, not with going to. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? Okay. Would, Would you, you like, like to go out? Would you like to go out? Okay, Braulio. Now you need to answer this using be going to and the verb. Yes, I am going to be. I am going to be here, here on, on Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. But not Sunday. Let's try and go on Saturday. Uh, let's try and go on Saturday. Okay. All right, there you go. So uh, what about number two? Okay, Marina Esmeralda. Okay, remember the second one. Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Okay, Carla Abigail. Okay, what about this one? B, using going uh -huh. to. Well, my father is going to visit my brother at college, but my mother and I are going to be home. My We'd mother, love to come. okay, and I are going to be home. Okay, love to come. Okay, so yeah, that's good. Okay, so um, just a second. Okay, the next one, Saul and then Luis. We are having friends over for barbecue on Saturday. Would you and your parents like to come? Yeah, we, again, we are having we are friends over have... for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? Okay, so what about this one right here? Okay, uh, Luis Fernando. Can you repeat it, please? Uh, sorry, I can't. I am going to work overtime tonight. How about tomorrow night? I'm going to work overtime tonight. What about tomorrow night? Okay, good. And then we have two more. I need volunteers for this, please. Isabel Elizabeth and then Carla Abigail, please. Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? Okay, good. And then 
uh, Carla? Can we go? Can we go to a late show? I am. I am going going to stay at the office till seven o'clock. Okay. So can we go to a late show? I am going to stay at the office until seven. Okay. Very good. All right. Just please give me a second here. Excuse me, a question. Ah, yes. Uh, who's who's calling? Herbert. Uh, why why in the in, in, in question four? Mm -hmm. Why don't you use or uh, uh, are you to stay? In... We have to use uh, present continuous for the future to talk about an arrangement. Present continuous. Uh -huh. Are you staying? Si decimos, are you to stay? Uh, that doesn't make sense. In the D, say I, why I, I go, I go, I, I stay at the office. Why don't, I'm not correct. I stay at the office. Um, stay because it's, because it's not an arrangement. You have to use present continuous when you're talking about an arrangement, but in this case, this is more like an intention. I'm going to stay at the office until seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's all about uh, intentions in this case. Okay. Just, okay, give me a second, please. I am having a little trouble with the presentation. Just, uh, I, I, I beg your, I beg for your, uh, Patience for a second. Me está dando un poquito de problema técnico aquí la presentación. Se está trabando esto. Thank you, thank yes. you, Marie. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Okay. Ya ve, dice que necesitamos un juego. Hasta la presentación está estresada. Está estresada la presentación. Okay. All right. So, well, let's have a vocabulary game then. Okay. Take a look. So we have the word power. This is extra, okay? Um, here's what we're going to do. Complete the word map with phrases from the list, then add one more example to each category. So what are those, okay? The words that you need to classify are barbecue, baseball game, basketball game, beach party, birthday party, comedy act, dance performance, golf tournament, picnic, play, rock concert, and tennis match. So you need to tell me what category you would put these words into. The categories are friendly gatherings, o sea, reuniones amistosas, spectator sports, okay, deportes para ver, okay, and live performances, que sería como actuaciones en vivo o, um, um, what's the word performance? Performance is desempeñar, es decir, hacer algo en vivo prácticamente. Okay, so um, what do you have? The first one is barbecue. I need a volunteer. Who can help me with this one? Barbecue. Wendy Lisette. A friendly gathering. It's a friendly gathering. Okay, that, that's correct. It's a friendly gathering. Okay, good. Okay. Um, what about the second one? Okay, Luz Clara, baseball game. What about the baseball game? Spectator sports. Spectator sports. Okay, yeah, that's correct. Thank you. Okay, for the next one, Marina Esmeralda. Okay, basketball game. How would you classify Espe that one? Spectator sport. Spectator sports too. Okay, yeah, that's correct. We have spectator sports. Okay, for the next one, we have uh, Braulio. Okay, Braulio, uh, there is uh, the beach party. What about the beach party? The beach party, uh, live performances. Live performances. Are you sure? Yes. Um, beach party, yes, yes. Live performances. Live performances. Are you sure? Absolutely sure. Mm. Yes, teacher. No, no, no. No, no. Uh, sorry, sorry. 
Friendly, friendly, gathering. Friendly gatherings. Yeah, correct. A beach, a beach party. It's okay. Don't worry. A beach party counts as a friendly gathering. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, very good. Thank you, Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. What about birthday party? Birthday party, friendly gathering. It's another friendly gathering. Okay, that's correct. Okay, very good. Okay, um, give me a second, please. Okay, here. All right. All right. So, uh, Luz Clara, what about uh, comedy act? Live performances. It's a live performance. That is correct. Okay, a comedy act is a live performance. Good. What about uh, the next one, Carla Abigail? Dance performance. Live performance. Okay, that was easy. Okay, dance performance is a live performance, definitely. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Saul Alexander, you're next. What about a golf tournament? Saul, are you there? Yeah, um, I well, I have a, a off, uh, off phone. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a uh, live performance. It's a live live performance, a golf tournament. Are you sure? Golf tournament. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, I think it's, it's I don't know. I'm between a uh, go uh, spectators pro and live performance. Uh, it's only one of them. Yeah, I think it's mm -hmm. live performance. I live performance. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> difficult yeah, it goes it's in difficult. actually uh, spectator sports okay spectator, spectator sports sport. mm, spectator yeah. sports a very very boring thing to you know to watch but yeah it comes in this category yeah, spectator it's, it's sports. my first time to listen to the uh -huh, yeah it's a, it's a bit yeah. weird but yeah golf tournaments yeah. they exist okay some people like to watch them but in my opinion it's a little boring Okay, but yeah, thank you very much. That's good. Okay. For the next one, um, René Giovanni. Eh, no sé, alguien tiene activado su audio por ahí. No sé si me puede hacer el favor de desactivarlo. Okay, gracias. Siempre recordemos cuando nuestra participación haya concluido, desactivamos el audio. Y también, eh, también bajamos la mano. Okay, René Giovanni. Okay, we have Big Nick. What is that? Friendly gathering. Okay, yeah, that's a friendly gathering. Okay, good. Um, Salvador Enrique, what about a play? Play. <clears throat> play is a live performance. Play is live performance. That's correct. A play is una obra de teatro. Okay. 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 Okay, se me acumulan las manos levantadas por ahí. Si ya concluyó la participación, les pido que bajen la manita. De acuerdo. Okay, Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Um, what about rock concert? Uh, live performance. It's a live performance. Okay, yeah, that's correct. Thank you. Luz Clara. Okay. No, Luz Clara ya nos participó algunas veces. Quiero darle oportunidad acá a Juan Carlos Maravilla. Okay, que veo que ahí tenía la manita levantada. But thank you, Luz Clara. Juan sí. Carlos, what about the tennis match? Spectator sport. Spectator sport. Okay, yeah, that's correct. Okay, so that's the word power. We have some uh, words that are part of useful vocabulary. Friendly gatherings, es decir, reuniones amistosas. They include barbecues, beach parties, birthday parties, picnics, etc., etc. Okay. Uh, spectator sports include baseball games, 
basketball game, golf tournament, tennis match, uh, soccer game, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So then you have the live performances that include a comedy act, dance performance, a play, a rock concert, or any kind of concert. Okay, the opera. Okay, that's a that's a live performance. The circus. Okay, the circus is also an example of live performance, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so. Um, 9.47, wow, time flies. Okay, uh, we're going to continue because we don't have much time and we need to do some more activities. So what are we going to do right now? There's the lesson objective right here, okay? Now, um, it's 5.5. The verbs tell and ask will be introduced in a conversation between two people talking on the phone. Los verbos decir y pedir son presentados en una conversación entre dos personas hablando por teléfono. So we have this. It's a conversation that we're going to practice. Can I take a message? Okay. Listen and practice. Luz Clara is going to help us. Okay. Luz Clara, I want you to be the secretary, please. Okay. And then we have, uh, I need another volunteer, Braulio. Okay. And you're going to be Mr. Kale. Okay. Please, let's begin. Okay. Good morning, Parker Industries. Industry. Hello, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. K. Is that G A L E? No, it is G A L E. All right. It's K A L E. <laughs> K A L E. Uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Please tell her all. Oh, Mary is a Friday. Uh, to 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 Terry. Okay, please tell her that to, please tell her our meeting is on Friday at two thirty. Friday at two thirty. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is six four six. Five 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 four zero three one. Six four six five 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 four zero oh, three one. Yes, Mr. Kale, I will get Miss Rama the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Thank you for reading that. Okay, uh, let's go over it very quickly. So the secretary says, good morning, Parker Industries. Mr. Kale says, hello, may I, stick, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? Okay, and the secretary says, I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Mr. Kale says, yes, please, this is Mr. Kale. The secretary says, is that... G-A-L-E, and Mr. Kale says, no, it's K-A-L-E. Secretary says, all right. Mr. Kale says, please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. The secretary says, Friday at 2.30. He's taking down notes. So uh, Mr. Kale says, and could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. Secretary says 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Mr. Kale says, thank you. Goodbye. And the secretary says, goodbye. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation right here? Braulio, and then Luz Clara, okay? Los mismos que leyeron tienen preguntas acá. Ajá. 
Sorry, teacher. No, no yo no, solo no. tengo una duda. Ah, I have a question. Uh, if pronunciation 230 is correct. 230, yeah, 230. 230. 230. 230. Yes. 230, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Luz Clara. Mi pregunta es: en el audio de la conversación escuché que decía oh. Por eso oh. dije oh, pero ¿por qué razón? Porque, por eso dije oh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Porque por lo general usted va a decir zero cuando está contando números reales. Es decir, eh, cantidades. Matemáticamente, el, el, el cero es zero. Okay. Pero en este caso, no estamos, no tenemos números, es decir, no tenemos cantidades, sino que estos números son un número clave. Los números telefónicos son un número clave, ¿verdad? El número de Dewey es un número clave. Okay. Eh, entonces, en esos casos, cuando aparece un cero, se dice oh. Oh, ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Um, here we go. Do you have any other questions about the vocabulary here? ¿Alguna otra consulta o duda acerca del vocabulario o pronunciación? Questions about vocabulary or the meaning of words? No questions? Okay, we continue then. So I want you to take a look at this. When they say, please tell her our meeting is on Friday. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? This is what we're going to study right here. This is lesson objective 5.7. By the end of this session, you will be able to take and give a message using tell and ask. Al final de esta clase, usted será capaz de tomar y dar un mensaje usando los verbos decir y pedir. Okay, so um, that's uh, lesson objective 5.7. So what are we going to do here? We're probably not going to make much of an advance on this topic because the class is about to finish, but let's do it. We have about uh, 10 minutes. So grammar focus, messages with tell and ask. What is this? Veamos, son mensajes con tell y ask. Pay close attention because it's a little bit easy to get confused. We have the statement. The first statement is, the meeting is on Friday. That's the statement, that's the idea. It's the piece of information that is going to lead the rest of the message. The statement is, the meeting is on Friday. So look, messages with a statement, okay? Ahora, Estos son mensajes en una declaración. You say, please tell Anne, dígale a Anne, a Anne, please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Ok, le están pidiendo a usted un favor. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Ok. You can say, could you tell her or could you tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday? Now look, this is a question. Could you tell, podría decirle? Could you tell Anne or could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? And would you tell her or would you tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday? You can use any of these three forms to express the same idea. La única diferencia sería que la primera es, digamos así, eh, un command, es decir, una orden o una petición directa. Please tell Anne, por favor, dígale, ok? Tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Mientras que la, la segunda y la tercera son más como una petición más eh, educada, En el sentido que le está pidiendo por medio de una pregunta, ¿verdad? Could you tell her, podría decirle, ¿verdad? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Or would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Le diría, por favor, que la reunión es el viernes. Now, we have that in parentheses because it is not absolutely necessary. You can use it, but if you don't want to use it, you don't use it. Okay, these are something that we call in English relative clauses. 
Now you can say, please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Again, the word that is in parentheses because it's not necessary. You can use it if you want, no problem. But if you don't want to use it, don't use it, okay? No problem either. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? This is good too. Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? This is also good, okay? So the word that is not absolutely necessary. You can use it if you want, but if you don't want to use it, you can leave it out. No problem right there. And then we have the requests. Okay, we have some requests. You say, call me this afternoon. Okay, this is the request. Es una petición directa, una orden. Call me this afternoon. So you have messages with a request. Okay. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Por favor, pídale que me llame esta tarde. Ask him to call me this afternoon. You ask a person to do something. That's the structure that you need to remember. You ask a person to do something. Okay? Also, you can ask a question. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Podría pedirle que me llame esta tarde? Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? And finally, you have this. Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? ¿Le pediría que me llame esta tarde? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? Again, the first one is more direct. It's more like a command, more like an order. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Es más como una orden. La segunda y la tercera son unas peticiones más educadas porque las hace por medio de una pregunta. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? And would you ask him to call me this afternoon? Those are the messages we tell and ask. Now, I know this can be a little bit difficult, especially because there are like six different forms of doing this. But with some practice, we can do it. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. We're going to begin only because we have like six minutes left, okay? Vamos a terminar un poquito tarde eh, porque comenzamos un poco tarde y me disculpo por eso. No era mi intención entrar tarde, pero como eh, con los otros grupos estamos terminando ya a nivel, pues a veces la despedida la gente se tarda un poquito, ¿verdad? Y empiezan a decir cosas, agradecen, hacen comentarios. Entonces, por eso... Eh, toca extenderse un poco y por eso es que entré un poco tarde esta clase. Pero la clase siempre dura 60 minutos, así que se repone ese tiempo. Okay, so um, here's what we're going to do. There's knowledge check 5.9. The instructions are, look at the following message slips, choose the best option, lea los siguientes mensajes, escoja la mejor opción. We're going to do it in a different way here, okay? A bit more difficult, okay? Look at the message slips. Ask someone to pass on these messages. Use the words in parentheses, then compare with a partner. So the message is, Joel, the movie is at seven. So you can use could. Could you tell Joel that the movie is at seven? Or simply, could you tell Joel the movie is at seven? There is number two, three, four, five, and six. In number two, you have Mitch, pick me up at home around four using wood. I'm going to give you this one as an example too, so you can start working on it. You're going to be working individually, by the way. So you have, would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around four? Le pedirías, por favor, a Mitch que me recoja En mi casa, ¿verdad? A las cuatro. O que pase a recogerme en mi casa a las cuatro. So, would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around four? Now, you have these two as examples. There is number three, number four, number five, and number six. Right now, I want you to work individually, please, to complete this exercise. Please, write the sentences or the requests using the words in parentheses, okay? And then you're going to show me. Probablemente no nos quede tiempo para revisarlas, pero por lo menos sí va a quedar tiempo para trabajarlas. So I'm going to give you five minutes right now, okay? Five minutes for you to complete number three, number four, number five, and number six. 
In case you don't have this information, I'm going to send it to you via WhatsApp right now so that you can have it. Where's WhatsApp? Right here. Okay. All right, I just sent you the information on the grammar focus. Okay, so you can have that as a reference. Okay, please, right now, everybody, I'll give you five minutes so you can complete number three, number four, number five, and number six. Write it down, please. Let's begin. Okay, listen, 
Um, we're going to check the answers tomorrow, okay? Because we have just run out of time. Voy a pasar asistencia nada más a los que no me han contestado. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Is Esmeralda Isabel online tonight? Probably not. Okay. And uh, Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Creo que no se pudo conectar al final. Okay. Um, also, Catherine Yasmin Guatemala Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. All right. I think that's it. Creo que son todos. Okay, everybody. Uh, listen, tomorrow we're going to check answers. Por acá nos manda Marina Esmeralda unos. <laughs> ya vamos a revisarlos. Okay, pero vamos a revisarlos bien el día de mañana porque ya se nos acabó el tiempo. Okay, um, listen, remember, we have a class tomorrow. Acuérdense que mañana tenemos clase, mañana terminamos el nivel. En reposición a la clase que no pudimos tener al principio de esta semana. Así que, por favor, acuérdense que todavía nos falta esa. No vayan a faltar, por favor. Yo sé que es un poquito más difícil porque es viernes, pero eh, es necesario, ¿verdad? Es cu Cuenta con en nuestro porcentaje de participación en el programa. Recuerden que cada minuto que usted está conectado a estas reuniones se le va acumulando su porcentaje de participación. Así que lo mejor es estar de principio a fin. También eh, los ejercicios de la plataforma ya tienen que estar terminados hasta el final exam. ¿okay? Así que si todavía no los han terminado, pues les invito a que eh, terminemos lo poco que nos falta para que eso no nos vaya a afectar tampoco en nuestro resultado uh, en cuestión de la nota. Okay, everybody, thank you very much, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night teacher. Good night, teacher. Take care. Good night.